Hey guys, Adrian Delgado, Arvada, Colorado. Hey, listen, it's time for the midweek nugget. Um, first of all, I just want to thank God um, for everything that He's doing. I mean, He is uh, He is mighty, and His hand is not shortened. Amen. He He can do all things, and and He's revealing it to me. He's revealing it to other people. I mean, and 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 as um, time goes by, He just continually to reveals himself and just shows himself um, not only mighty but but true faithful I mean he is um, you know all throughout the Psalms it says to call upon him and he will answer call upon him and, and he will be there listen that is he is he, he is not a man that he would lie amen nor is he a man that he would repent you know, so what he says, what his word says is true. What his word says is going forth. Amen. And it does not come back void. Amen. So, um, first of all, I want to uh, give a, a few testimonies. First of all, I want to, uh, uh, my daughter was at school. One of her uh, uh, um, elementary school kids, friend, gave her life to the Lord last week. So I want to thank God. I know that the angels are rejoicing for that. Amen. So, um, another, um, we have a, a gal in prayer group. Uh, her dad is about 80, 81 years old and uh, didn't want nothing to do with the gospel. Didn't want nothing to do with Jesus. And uh, she got a prophetic word. Uh, she was obedient to it. Spoke the word of the Lord to, to her father. And, her, and, you know, lo and behold, her father received Christ. She was baptized last, uh, last week in the swimming pool. Amen. The angels are rejoicing. So, um, uh, we had uh, a brother and sister that was uh, uh, backslidden, pretty much um, just uh, how could I say? Just, just the world just lied to him. Came in and lied to him. Showed him, a, uh, sold him a false uh, bill of goods. Amen. But guess what? They returned and, and, and the Lord just rejoiced. The angels were rejoicing and they came and rededicated their life to the Lord. You know, so um, and this is all in the last couple of weeks. So I just want you guys to know that uh, God God is powerful. He's mighty. And uh, um, his, his word don't come back void. I mean, it's true. And his arm is not shortened. Amen. He is the God of God and the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the author and finisher of your faith. Amen. So, listen. This is this is something where 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 we're coming into. We're coming into an area where where we got to trust in God. We got to 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 surrender to God. And when the enemy say, uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood, God raises the standard. God raises the the levels where we need to be amen but also remember as we're going through these things and as as we take one step forward one step back one step forward one step back remember that it is God it is God who brings us above reproach amen that was a, a very full, a very powerful man of God who told me this week it's like it's God who brings us above reproach above reproach Amen. It is. Is it in us? It's not in our own self. It's not in our works. It's not in our righteousness. Our own. You know what I mean. Our our own. Um, how could I put it? Our, our our own doings. It's not. It's because of God and what He did on the cross. Amen. He is. He is. Is mighty to save. He is. He is worthy. Um, of every praise that you give Him. Amen. So I just. Uh, I just. I really wanted to get that testimony out. Because God is doing things. The church is live and well. But because Jesus is the head of the church. Amen. Jesus is the head of the church. And the blood is covering the church. Amen. Listen. Paul says this. He says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power unto salvation. Amen. So as, as you guys are um, uh, uh, as you guys are living your daily lives. Step by step, moment by moment, the Word of God says this, walk circumspectly, okay? Be careful, you know, make sure you're not stepping on, 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 on you know, on people that are not really, you know, ready or they're not, hurt, you know, they're hurting or, or you, you have to walk circumspectly. You got to walk carefully, 
Okay, but it also says the second part of that verse. It says, "But redeeming the time is like, look, don't, don't waste time. Redeem it as much as you can. If 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 somebody gives you a little, you know, opening, a question, a, a inquiry about the gospel, let them have it. Let them know what you know. But also give them the testimony. Show them what the word of God says and what He's doing in your life. Amen. And in Revelation says this, that we will overcome." the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony amen by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony listen we are getting testimonies every day we must get them out we must tell the people what god is doing the church is alive and well the church is alive and well god is alive and he's living and he's moving and he's changing us amen it is not us it is not i mean Bible says this that it uh, it is God who who both wills to both wills to do um, uh, uh, what we want to do for His good pleasure. Basically, it's it, God is it's God is the one that's working in us to even will to do it and to actually do it. You know, He gives us the desires of our heart. He gives us you know the 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 um, you know the the grace, the means, um, the provision, and everything that that. That God wants us to do. Amen. And each one of us are, are, are called to do something different. But you know what? Today, you know, uh, Joshua says this. Choose this day whom you serve. But for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen. So listen. God is good. God is good. And he is still on the throne. Amen. So don't forget that. You guys stay strong and keep keeping on. Because my God is mighty. He is mighty. Amen. And and when there when when we were separated from him from Adam, listen, he set a way, he made a way. He came off of his throne, came down to earth. He came, he died and paid that penalty for us that we might begin be together again. That was his doing. That wasn't us. That was him. He did it for us. Amen. So, so I, I want you guys to know that God is still moving. God is, God is, he, he's moving. And, 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 and listen, he loves us and he's not going to leave us. The word of God says, look, I will never leave you or forsake you. Only, you know, to be still and know that I am God. Amen. So, so I just, I just wanted to put that out as midweek nugget. I want you guys to know that I love you and I want you guys to be blessed. Listen, uh, Sunday morning, 6054 South Kipling Parkway, Littleton, Colorado. Listen, if you're in the Denver metro area, we invite you. Come, come worship with us. Come um, hang out with us. Listen, well, come pray with us. Come, come, come dip, get dipped in the river. Amen. Jesus is there. Hallelujah. So listen, 6054 South Kipling Parkway, Sunday, uh, Sunday at 10 a.m. Also Thursday night, 630, we got prayer nights ongoing ministry indefinitely that hey we can come we can pray we can worship god and we can just you know just fellowship together amen until next time god bless you